Welcome back. We're on episode four, season four of Girls. I'm Esther. And I'm Ashley. We have to make a pit stop in Iowa. In Iowa, where Hannah has ostensibly quit the Iowa Writers Workshop. Last March, when you know the season, the third season of Girls ended, we, we ended on Hannah getting into the Iowa writer, Writers Workshop. And back then, even, I predicted even like three weeks into class, Hannah will probably you know, leave in a self-righteous huff of some sort and yeah. flounce back to New York to her parents' dismay. Yeah, she has, but she blames her fellow students for stifling her creativity and stifling her writing ability. It is honestly the most, like, babyish, immature thing you could possibly imagine. A writer's workshop and an MFA program is for people who are really, who really know who they are and know mm -hmm. who they, what they want to do. And it's like Hannah's that. teacher points out, yeah. everyone here is a grown-up. Yeah, and Hannah just most certainly is not. There is one thing, though. I The, the writer's workshop um, was interesting to me. Like, the last scene that she has with her... Uh, classmates. It's interesting to me, and, and very telling, I think, that the show is willing to surround Hannah with these characters who not only call her out, but are justified in doing so. They yeah. call her out for being immature and not being able to take criticism very well. Um, because it acknowledges that the show knows just how immature Hannah is yeah. being. Yeah. right? And we talked a little bit earlier in the season about how Hannah Horvath and Lena Dunham every now and again get conflated for one another. But watching an episode like this, it's very clear that Lena Dunham has created a show that knows how awful Hannah Horvath is. Totally. So there's really no excuse after watching something like this for confusing Lena Dunham and Hannah Horvath. Two sort of of the big couples of the show have mm -hmm. these really big moments this episode. I mean, the first I think is Shoshana and Ray. Shoshana's mm -hmm. having all these troubles with her job hunt um, and she sort of goes and seeks you know comfort and friendship in Ray who is the best in this Ray episode. is the best. Ray is old man Ray and he's mm -hmm. like peak old man Ray in this episode. <laughs> Absolutely he's get off my lawn Ray. You know Shoshana sort of comes to him and they go shopping together and it's mm -hmm. this really really great scene I thought. You know here they make her very um, very, as opposed to obviously, as we mentioned, Hannah being so immature, they make her very mature, at least in her personal relationships. Mm -hmm. And it's a really great thing to see. I mean, for me, Shoshana and Ray are the OTP, one true pair of the show. One true pair. Yeah. And it, it follows another great moment of maturity last week that we saw from Marnie. This week, our Marnie moment was not That's so different. great. It showed, I thought, you know, a bit of regression. Desi arrives at her door in the middle of the night, like, crying. Um, and he's broken up with Clementine. I mean, and he is sobbing. It is uh -huh. like... It's ugly crying. It's ugly crying. Uh -huh. ugly man crying. It's like <laughs> fabulous. When she first learns that they've broken up, she is peak, you know, obnoxious Marty. Oh <sighs> with this, like, mm -hmm. huge grin on her face where you're like, you know, shut up, Marty. She's getting what, her, what she wants, but there's a huge caveat There's here. a huge caveat here. She's getting what she wants in maybe the worst way possible. Yeah. Uh, th the episode before this one, Ray says to her, he hasn't chosen you yet. Yeah. And he really hasn't chosen Marnie in this episode either. Yeah. Marnie becomes the choice by default. And the whole McKinsey interview just made me so sad. I don't think you're the right fit for McKenzie. Well, people always think that I'm not going to fit in at first, but then I always do. I always fit in just very subtly. Mm -hmm. NYU, I'm sure, offers help for their graduates. Like, I'm Shoshana sure. Shoshana most certainly needs it, you know. Here are just some, like, rules we learned from Shoshana. Don't flat out reject a job. And maybe don't, like, refuse to leave and ask the person that's interviewing you to tell you all your flaws. And of course, at the end of the episode, there was another big surprise waiting. Uh, Mimi Rose answers the door. Mimi when... Rose Howard, great name. Mimi Rose Howard. Hi. Hi. Who are you? I'm Mimi Rose. Can I help you with something? Played by the also awesome Gillian Jacobs, Gillian Jacobs. from Community. Mm -hmm. I, but, you know, we don't know right now what this means, really. Right, we don't know much about her at all at this point. So hopefully in the next few weeks, we'll yeah. know more about Mimi Rose. Um, so until next week, you know, tell us what you think this Mimi Rose develop means for Hannah. Let us know what you'd like to see uh, from us in the comments, and we'll see you next week. <laughs>